This isn't science fiction, this is real. In 1986, the Chernobyl nuclear power plant exploded and the world changed forever. Radiation levels soared, a city evacuated overnight. Chernobyl became a dead zone, silent, toxic, abandoned. But what if that wasn't the end of the story? For years, scientists believed nothing could survive there. No humans, no life, just radiation. But when researchers returned decades later, they found something shocking. Nature had come back, but it wasn't the same. Wolves, deer, and wild horses now roam the exclusion zone, but stranger still, inside Inside the ruins of Reactor 4, researchers discovered a black mold, not just surviving the radiation, but feeding on it. This fungus absorbs deadly gamma rays, converting them into energy. It's called radiotrophic fungi, and scientists believe it could hold clues to surviving in extreme environments, even space. And that's not all. In the surrounding red forest, Animals show signs of bizarre adaptation. Insects with mutations, birds with unusual pigmentation. Some creatures even appear more resilient than their counterparts outside the zone. So, is this evolution in fast forward? Or is Chernobyl becoming a laboratory for nature's darkest experiment? One thing is clear, what began as a disaster may now be rewriting the rules of life on Earth, and possibly beyond. Because if life can adapt to one of the most radioactive places on the planet, what else is it capable of? These organisms aren't just surviving, they're evolving, changing in ways we still don't fully understand. Some scientists believe what we're seeing here could be a preview of life on other planets, or the blueprint for surviving future catastrophes right here on Earth. The zone may be closed to humans, but for nature, it might be the beginning of something entirely new.